Hi friend, my name is Ranjan Kumar. I am from Tech Crystal Group. We are a bunch of guys uh, who are tech savvy. Today I am going to cover the basics of ATM transaction flow. I will start with the magnetic strip card. This magnetic strip is basically a black stripe at the back end of any debit card. So the data is residing in this uh, stripe uh, in uh, track 1 and track 2. A track one it contains mainly the card number the me and the name of the card holder and many more things the next track it contains the miss mainly the expiry date the cv1 service code and many more details about the card holder now this this three digit which i'm pump uh, which i am pointing is cv2 or cv cvc2 this is used in card not present or ecom or online transactions now coming to the next slide, uh, uh, this slides cover the type of transaction, sup sup uh, transaction supported at the ATM switch server. So the first is onus. So onus is our card on our ATM. Again the office is is divided into two parts. The first is issuer. So issuer is our card on other ATM. The last is acquirer. So other card at our ATM. We are going to cover all these transaction type in detail in subsequent slides. Uh, eight, uh, next slide is ATM switch server architecture. So ATM switch server is heart of, you know, it is the heart of uh, the any transaction. It is the controlling unit of uh, ATM transactions. The core of ATM switch server is as under. The first is it check it checks the type of the machine. So whether the machine is of NCR make. D volt make or Wincore or other make and based on that the protocol required is applied to that transaction and the next is it checks whether the transaction is of owner's type issuer type or acquirer type and it is checked based on the first six digit of the card number it is also called as the bin or bank identification number the next the card expiry is also checked at switch server, uh, it is uh, it is used in online transactions. The next is the status of the card. So whether the card is blocked, hot listed, or active. The the next and important part is the offset of the pin. So whenever we insert, we are inserting a, uh, this pin at the pin pad level. The pin is getting encrypted, and the pin block is formed. Again, this uh, and this pin bo block is coming to the ATM switch server. Again, this pin block is encrypted with the help of HSM. Now, this HSM is a hardware de device. It is it stands for host security model. So again, that pin block is encrypted. That offset is formed, and only that offset is being checked at the ATM switch server. <coughs> so I'm starting with the types of transactions. I'm starting with onus transaction. So onus is X bank card on the X bank ATM. So this this atm is of x bank the card also belong to the x bank customer so the tran transaction data along with the the card data along with the pin block is coming to the atm switch server so whenever whenever i'm saying atm switch server it means atm switch plus dcms that is debit card management system so the all the uh, data all the data related to card is authenticated here and that if everything is okay, then the response is passed to the CVS. The accounting part is done at the CVS level. The CVS is sending response to the ATM switch server. And the ATM switch server is sending the you know command or instruction to ATM to do the needful as per customer's request. The next type is a sword transaction. So X bank card is being used on Y bank ATM. So the, so the ATM belongs to the Y bank and the customer is of X bank. So in this case, again, the card data along with the pin block will, la will land to the acquirer or Y bank ATM switch server. So based on bin, it will come to know that the card belongs to the X bank. So first, the transaction will be routed to the network. So in India, mainly the NFS, NFS network is used. This is of NPCI. So almost all the transactions are routed through NFS network only. 
so this nfs network will route that transaction to the issuer bank that is x bank and all the card related validations and authorization will take place at this end and if everything is okay the response will go to the cbs the accounting part will be done here cbs will send the request send the response to the x bank or issuer uh, bank switch server issuer bank will send to the network network will send to the acquirer bank that is a y bank server and y bank will send the instruction to y bank y bank switch server will send the instruction to y banks atm for doing the needful as per customer's request now the last type of the atm transaction is acquirer wherein y bank card is used on x bank atm so the atm belongs to the x bank the card holder is from y bank so in this case again the card data along with the pin block will uh, will land to the x bank here the x bank is the is the acquirer bank so based on bin the first six digit of the card number the card will be checked and it will be found that it is it belongs to the y bank so it will uh, the uh, x bank server will pass those details to the network that is nfs nfs will send the uh, request to the y bank that is issuer bank and issuer bank will check the will will do the validation and authorization of uh, that card holder and if, if everything is okay it will pass that transaction to cbs for doing the accounting part cbs will send the response to the atm switch server of the issuing bank y bank uh, the y bank respo uh, uh, will respond to the network that is nfs nfs will send that response to the atm switch server of the acquiring bank that is x bank and and the last leg is x bank will pass on the instruction to his atm to do the needful as per the customer's request uh, customer's request so this is all from my side i hope uh, you have learned something from my video uh, uh in coming days i will will uh, i will be coming with more videos like uh, uh, the difference between max stripe card and emb card and also i will try to uh, i will try to analyze in detail about the uh, atm fraud happened in recent past in india so if you like this video kindly like and subscribe so as to uh, so as to learn from this thing thanks a lot thanks very much